hello everyone habibi here in this video i'm going to show you this script i have this script from stack overflow which is this uh, topic about how to play not working on mobile devices and i am following this answer and i have it here now i can play a youtube video and the uh, author which the guy that posted this answer said that it can be played automatically on mobile devices on mobile devices it will have auto play feature on mobile devices okay the the thing that I'm going to show you in this video not about how to play on mobile devices what I'm going to show you is how to uh, make a function for this script so we can call that function and play hey everybody. another uh. video other than only one video like this as you can see here we only have this video with this video ID and what I'm going to do is to create uh, some buttons here below the video if I click this button if I click this one the button one it will play a video for example video A and if I click the next button it will play video B and C and so on here will I will show you how to create that function so here I'm going to create a new function function play this video and inside this function and inside this function what I need to do is to cut this uh, block let me just cut it and paste it here and then no here and then I paste this one and place it here let me fix the indentation of the code hang on a second okay now I cut uh, I copy this fit ID parameter or variable and place it here video ID okay and here I will do something like console.log to notify me that the YouTube iframe IPI is ready and I will call this function when I refresh the video I got this message that the YouTube is ready then I will try to call this function and I will insert a video ID of, of, of any video on YouTube for example this one let me copy the link and I copy the video ID and place it here and I press enter now I can Hello see my everyone video is be here. playing automatically a with how to play train locomotive and what if I want to play another video I can just call that same function again and with new parameter with new video ID here I place this video ID press enter here we need some another code here I will uh, make if statement if player if player uh, is true we need to destroy the player before we create another player destroy player dot destroy and let's try it again refresh the page YouTube is ready I call this function 
I can see the Hello video everyone, is playing, and I'm going, I'm going to, to begin call the second function, the same sign. function with second uh, video ID here. Hello yes, everyone, happy to be here. I have a locomotive train locomotive here it playing and it has sensor and hello everyone happy be here in this video I'm going to begin hello everyone happy be here months ago if you can I see if I choose tutorial, any other video for channel. example because I'm so busy with so many projects this one and I think I can we can dynamically call any video tutorials. to play Now we have this function. Let's create some buttons here at the bottom of the video. And let's see what we can do. Here I will create a button. Let me start this video. Button video 1. I will create three buttons and I call this function on the first video on each video don't forget on click on click and we will call we will play uh, this video with this ID I copy the video ID place it here and let me duplicate this and then I place the second video I place the third video let me refresh the page if YouTube is ready I can click the first button now it is playing this one the second video hello this everyone one. happy be and the third video this one Hello or everyone. We can even here. make something. I have a locomotive uh, train locomotive. We can make something here more. For example, in sensor, we can add an input. The locomotive will move input ID along this waypoint. ID. And th in this and video, we, uh, I'm going we will to start add button here to create wagon object. I will call a function. Let me play, play video scene for you and uh, check it out the train is moving along yeah, along this way points something and like now that. let's on create click. On a click. wagon objects Play that follow video that follows and the need locomotive but I before creating create the wagons the let me uh, modify some one. Play another video. values here here i will on create my function. locomotive Object game object. Video. It has speed and three. Here Let me increase Let me the stop speed. The video. Here we need an ID of the I need this ID, some fit ID. Far fit ID equals to document get elements get element by ID. value let me test it I will place an alert here I will show an alert uh, video and I type fit ID let me refresh the page okay I did not type something here for the button let me type play this video okay let me refresh it I will type something yeah for example this one I will take the video ID paste it here click the button video this one and then I remove the alert I remove the alert 
and I will call that function that we have made before play this video and inside this parenthesis we put this fit ID variable now we can dynamically play any video ID with this JavaScript play this video what I think it is another video let me choose this one copy link address copy and I will paste it here play this video yeah it is correct video asset bundles asset bundle let's try again to play this one remember only paste the video ID like this one this is not the video ID but it is a time parameter for the video we don't need it we place the video ID here click play video okay that is how we can play multiple videos dynamically using a YouTube iframe API thank you for watching this video see you next time bye bye hello everyone Habibi here I have a locomotive train locomotive